Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are going straight right now because we're running late to get my nails done. Very important. And look who we are taking with us. Oh, hello. Look at this bag. It has the craziest patina, honestly. It is so honey colored, but this Speedy 25 coming with us today. Marcy, stand up. Do, stand up, Marcy. Do the kick. Oh my god. Do the kick flip. No, no, no! It is school. There is five minutes to the bell. This is not discipline. Really? Jokes, right? Jokes. Is there two of you under there? <laughs> You're meant to be the scary one. There's two. <laughs> so lucky you're cute. <laughs> so lucky you're cute. There, you would have gone off the side of a bridge with a rock on your foot. <laughs> School, now. When the boys first started the restaurants, my mother-in-law would do the washing, she'd say, and she'd clean out their pockets. I tell Jillian this all the time. Obviously, you know, it's a pizza restaurant, so there, there's card and cash. And every time I do the washing now, I check his pockets. Woohoo! the best pocket clean out ever. See you later, Willie. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, put it back there for the strippers. Five dollars. Oh! <laughs> Show them you're getting ready for the gym. No. We have a blackout. <sighs> Complete blackout. So Willie and I are going to hit up the gym. Do you have your little body wash? Oh, <laughs> just getting ready. Dirt. Dun, 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 dun. Rocky! Scavenging and hunting for clues. Power is back on and the house is flooded. Thank you for leaving the tap on and the plug in. Oh my god, honest to god. Ooh, yum. Do you guys like these bubble tea char time? that sort of thing. In Hong Kong, they're called bubble tea. Amazing. Next level. Next level. I get ice. Oh, all over my car. Next level. I get ice because I really love it to be sort of fresh and really cold. Um, so I get ice. It's just so refreshing. It's so bad for you. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like Char time. <clears throat> Where was I up to? We just got back from the mall where you saw me drink my bubble tea. I had to get a few things, but I had also, I needed a, it's just never ending. I needed an, a cradle charger for this Sony Alpha, which I'm now going to vlog with this camera. And I've actually got to get my Manfrotto um tripod for it because it's just so much easier this is just a little handheld tripod i've got you on but i am going to put things in this new little bomb bag because i had just stuff like on my table here in my studio and i just unboxed this ding and i 
just sat down and started adjusting the strap and I was like oh my gosh I wanted to show you doing that but I also wanted to show you all the crap and we can hang out together how does that sound joke so this was what we went to the mall for so again whether you care for technology or not you're gonna hear this this is my Canon G7X, one of the best kind of point and shoot vlogging cameras. Not only is the back, it's on a hinge screen. For what reason? I'm not quite sure. Apparently it's like more active. Um, but it's on two little grommet screws and Zaki has thrown this a couple of times. It's lived, but the screen is wobbly. The top dial won't turn properly now to its function setting and it's just it still works and it's fine but it's just when i'm trying to get it out to vlog for you guys it's frustrating luckily enough this was second this was first <laughs> so this is a sony alpha the reason i don't pick it up is because it's not a point and shoot so it's an adsl meaning it has lenses that attach to it it's a better camera for vlogging and whatnot. However, you have a cap to put on and off. That's okay. Um, you just want the easiest type of situation when you're vlogging because you want to get stuff like straight away. Um, but yeah, either way, I love the setups of these cameras. They're top flip. So your viewfinder's on the top. So it's on the top right now. You see a lot of vloggers looking like this because they're, firstly, they're looking at themselves, which... I hate to say, I, I'm not going to like put myself up there. <laughs> yeah, I am. If you've been a YouTuber long enough, don't look at yourself. Okay, you don't need to see. Look at you guys. It's really not that hard. So many vloggers just watch themselves and it's just impersonal, I think. Um, <clears throat> anyway, these are both top flip, which is really nice. So I'm going to put this guy in retirement just for now. I'm sure it will come back around. That's fine. However, this guy, the Sony Alpha, when you buy it, you should know, and it only comes with a, um, like, a, a dock. So it comes with this brick and an, a dock and then a USB to <laughs> USB-C attachment, meaning you have to plug it into that camera, the camera, to charge the battery. So, obviously, I have three extra batteries, I have three batteries, so one's in now and then these two extra. However, the camera has to be there to charge them. Obviously, very time consuming and you're trying to use the camera, it doesn't work. There's a dock for the uh, Canon G7X. There is, a, there is a dock for that, so it's great, I just put them all in. There's a dock for my big Canon ADSL 70D which is what I film sit down videos. However, this was redundant. It just, it's great. We'll use parts of it, but I had to go and grab this guy. So this is a cradle. So I will be able to put the batteries for vlogging in this guy. That's what you get in it. You get a spare battery. That's nice. And this was on sale for $80 down from a hundred. So, I mean, Technical, if I will say, if I honestly put all of my technical things together, and that's the thing, your equipment is what you're investing in, just so that, you know, you make good quality videos, it's enjoyable, and it's not just, I have my phone, you'll see cutaways and some stuff I get with the boys really, really quickly is on my phone. Most of the stupid stuff with the boys is on my phone, because it's in my pocket and I just flip it out. But when you're getting really nice content, it's good to have a camera or invest in equipment if you are a YouTuber. That's all, all the content creator, sorry. Um, so we just picked this up, so we will put that and test how that works. In the meantime, I'm going to put my items into this. I had been carrying... See, this is what I do is when I flick out... Shout out to small girl. When I flick in and out of a bag, if I haven't got it ready, the boys, I have to take to school. So I just grab like whatever and I shove it in there. So this went in the jumbo just then to drop the kids at school. And I just had stuff shoved in it like so. So 
all of this was in it anyway or in my smorga anyway so basically i picked this up and shoved it in my jumbo and in here i have all my nail tech in my ideal pouch the best little pouch this is all my nail tech in there because as you can see 10 nails we have our press-ons on these and they're great like they stay on all day till the shower so I've got them on and I've been putting them on every like second day so that I have 10 nails especially when I'm out and about because it just looks janky I did get a comment from someone hi babe I think she's a subby saying like it's just really doesn't look good like maybe you should just let your nails breathe babe I told her I was like I have let my nails breathe so many times that this has happened that's why mum goes oh my god not again because I've had nail drama since I, I asked her when I got them on because I have amnesia so I don't remember anything literally I don't remember anything she said 16 that's pretty young well it's okay so 16 she let me get them I was out of school I left school in year 10 so I was out of school and accepted into fashion college without an HSC so without a high school diploma I was accepted into fashion college cut long story short that's when she allowed me to get them so 16 so since 16 babe I have had them on and off and broken many different times most of the time I'm fine but because this time was so brutal meaning it had come out of the bed I knew it was going to be so long to grow back it had grown back twice over however my old technicians who I've quit now were just putting acrylics on them because I was asking them to but the water damage was never letting it grow on the actual skin if that makes sense it was growing off the skin and water was getting inside two times over I would have had these nails if I just let them if I let the nails air out longer which I have and they're back to like pretty much you know we've got less than a quarter to go so I these are off all the time to answer your question but I am a veteran in nails so nothing you know nothing's new for me anyway that's our little nail pack Sunny's my Celine's 4k this is all the usual suspects um, this is a go-to staple if you've been thinking of this from Louis Vuitton as a little wallet that fits it fits cash it's also got a key holder inside I'll cover my cards and it's got four card slots on the back it is so good and I do shove in it but it's still so good and then my uh, mini pochette which I just never trade out of and I was going to look at trading out to my kirigami um, but it's the same size essentially the kirigami the medium I mean the small you can fit a couple of cards in this this is a card size however for the amount of points cards and like miscellaneous cards that I have, that are, I would not be shoving this. I could, you can't. So let's see. Sephora and Cotton On. I'll show you. It does fit a card in its width. So here we go. So there we go. Sephora card in and fine. However, when you start piling them up, it's fine. But look at the size of the thing. As a little catch-all. <coughs> I can't I need more things and if this was my catch-all which is the medium kirigami that's ridiculous to go in this bomb bag however I then thought well I will just keep my mini pochette going and I know I said in the unboxing of this little bomb bag why why would you do a pouch and a pouch and a pouch but I am so fanatical about things down inside my bags like little items down inside my bag it just drives me nuts nuts so here it is again I've got the chain on it because it's so decorative why not it might get annoying then I'll take it off and I've put it on a shoulder strap size I thought of putting my um, pochette Matisse strap on because I always go to it I gravitate to it However, I just put this on to just use it for now. So we'll see how it'll go. One subby said, why didn't you do crossbody in the unboxing? I didn't think of it. She was right. This is obviously high. Way too high for me. But how cute. If you want to do that, be super hands-free you can. And then set it longer. Super hands-free you can. 
Um, one good thing about the chain is I guess you can pick it up off your seat of your car really quickly. Carrying on, we're talking at a million miles an hour. So, I'm going to keep my mini pochette as my catch-all. <clears throat> to save space with things I need, I'm going to put my car key without my little um, musty luggage tag. We will take that off. Um, but I'm going to put my car key in here to save space. And then I'm going to put all my points cards and business cards and miscellaneous cards and Will's extra credit card. Ding! Inside this guy. So that it's just an extra... <laughs> I mean, it's so stupid, and anyone that watching must just be like, that doesn't understand, I guess, bags, luxury bags, and Louis Vuitton would just be like, why are you putting a pouch in a pouch, in a bag, in a pouch? But I like my items in something, I really do. So that's kind of like doubling up with all my miscellaneous things, including my car key. I could put my earpods, AirPods in it too. Then we just slip the recto verso in the front of it and then we can slip my four key behind it and it just all lines up nicely as well. Like you can get things in and out, but I mean, it's just a monogram party of like, look at that, just all back to back. Get my head out of it. Can we see? So I mean, really, at the end of the day. Oh yeah, that's right. I put my AirPods already in the front pouch. The little front zipper is functional and my AirPods are in there. So I mean, at the end of the day, the other day, yesterday, sorry, when I was running to take the boys to school. So there we go. I'll use the chain to show you. And someone said, do the chains get, do the straps get tangled? Not much more than the loop. I mean, all these extra and like the multi pochette i mean they have just got chain after strap after chain so really it's what you're committing to you know so they don't really tangle you just gotta get it kind of working in your favor so this is full it's cute i throw it on high but because i also don't care <laughs> but obviously that's it i mean what's left out my phone again you either carry it in your pocket or whatnot and then sunnies would stay in my car so i mean that's it my little nail kit well that was stuff to stay home and yeah i mean as a quick run around for example that's what i was saying so the, yesterday when the boys were going to school and i had this like i had my little smorg with all my things in it obviously i could have just grabbed the smorg and like i didn't throw it in the jumbo but i was like oh my god i'll just quickly get all my things out and put it in the pochette of the multi pochette so take the big pochette of it and put everything in that but what's the difference of now changing out to this there is none really so the only thing would be smarter is to take everything out of your mini pochette and have it all loose inside. Obviously, it saves you heaps of space, like, rather than pouch on pouch on pouch. But, again, I have way too many problems to do that and deal with that. It does do up fine. So, there it is. You guys liked it. You really liked it, too. It is so cute. Um... Yeah, so that's kind of my update. Other than that, I'm just playing around in here till my bell, <laughs> till my bell goes to get my boys from school. Some really long lead. That's so nice. Okay. Right. So here we go. It's a really nice long lead. And you get a battery. So cute. 
that's nice. That's actually pretty good value because I bought extra batteries for this Sony as well because you always want backup batteries. So there we go. Boom. So a cradle to charge for this vlogging camera. But yes, okay. Well, this was just some fun on the ground with me and my new little bum bag. Um, yeah, I'll let you know how this goes. Uh, I mean, once again, let's show you inside. Just so you can see the layout from this angle. Sorry, this is one-handed. <laughs> Badly one-handed. Oh, my God. Okay, so just so you can see the layout again. I mean, you know, really, at the end of the day. <laughs> At the end of the day, you would just put these things loose. You would just put these things loose. However, I don't know, each their own, I guess. But, hey. club. <laughs> I don't my He's not being rude, he's I being serious. His library, his library teacher just that awarded that him the best reader award, and it was part no, of the Fart the Club. <laughs> He got like I'm a. Best what is I this got outfit? Fifty dojos. Lucky. What is this outfit called? <laughs> Daddy yeah, Daddy. Captain Underwear. Captain Underwear. <laughs> Captain Underwear. Captain Underwear. Could you please acknowledge your nana? Give your nana. <laughs> Come on, you Fruit Loops. Come and give your nana a kiss. Oh. All right. <laughs> Oh, jump, 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 jump. No, don't do that because it's hanging off people's teeth. <laughs> Nana just came by. Oh, crazy. Okay, Wait, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, you taste nice. Can I have a little bite? Zachy, Zachy, get on me. Okay, okay. Oh, delicious. Zachy, get on me. Can I have another piece of dessert? Of you. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> he wants to achieve is giving oh, his brother a piggyback that's a shoulder ride here all Mussy wants to achieve is giving his little brother a piggyback ride go on success get it on the vlog he's what he's what he's wanted to do a piggyback since zaki was like since, since zaki was like two and a half Mussy's Oh, success! Good job, Mussy! Oh, okay, put him on the couch. Oh, yay! Clap, Mum, clap. Yay! Oh, Mussy the champion! Sue! Do it. Sue! Sue's. Hang on, wait a second. The good news is, guys, Zaki, say, Mummy got her laptop back. She got her laptop back. Okay. Ready? You can peel it off. Ah, go slow, go slow. Peel it off. Wow! I want my it's a brand laptop. new screen. That's my laptop. Oh, oh God. That's it's brand new. It's brand new, baby. Here, to take the to cover. <laughs> oh God. Uh, no, that's my Louis Vuitton laptop case. You can go put it on something else with Nana. What about this one? What about that one? No, no, that's a sticker too. Oh no. No, no, that's a sticker too. <laughs> this this blue pit bit is a sticker too. No, Baba. Do you like his nail polish, guys? Do you like his nail polish? No, Baba. This is a sticker too. Take it off. Yeah, look. Take that one off. Oh. Wow. Good. Okay, let's document this reaction on the vlog while she's doing her fish. Look at my phone. Look at this. What is it? Got a new case? No, no case. Um, an apple sign? Yeah, but there's no case on it. 
Oh, what is it? What, how much was the case that I had on it? What was it? Do you remember? Prada. Correct. <laughs> Where is it? The logo of it is melting. The, the triangular logo is like the, the, the glazing is melting and become gummy, like as if it was oh, made of... Oh, up your alley. <laughs> So, hang on, wait a second. He's there. So, I, I said to myself, no, I'm normally so complacent with this stuff and I just let it go. And I don't ever go, no, I'm going to take it back and. Let me do my sample cup. Okay, see ya. I'm going to take it back and say it's not good enough. Excuse me. Do a great. Thank you, come on. Oh, Zaki. Zaki. Zaki, your fish slash. The fishies are ready. Were they mine? No way. You would have killed them by now. <laughs> gently, 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 because they get frightened, remember? No, no, not from that height. Down here. Let Nana show you. So you put your hand here. You put your hand here. Now, when I say tip, tip. Ready, set, go. Oh. There you go. Can I do it again? No, because they're home. Oh, yeah. um, then hold on and tip it. No, no, because they're home. Like you just ask, them are they on, ask them are they okay. You dead fishies. Oh! Oh, typical four-year-old. Zaki! I hope you die, fishies. <laughs> oh, he's having a... He's having a nudge. Oh! Oh, okay, bye. I told myself no more bubble tea. Look at him tracing the letters. I told myself no more bubble tea. This is how well I've done. Oh my God, I'm craving it so bad. Good job. All the letters. He's the funniest kid. Massey would want a phone instantly. He'd be like, can I go on your phone? Can I go on your phone, this one? Okay, baby, don't clean the floor of the mall. This girl is taking so long to make these teas for real. Have you got your receipt from Kmart? Did you get a new little laptop? <laughs> you saw my laptop. I got my laptop back. Woohoo! It got fixed. And he saw it. Said, what happened to it? I said, the screen broke. He said, where's my laptop? So when we're in Kmart, we found him a little office bag with a wooden laptop. So cute. And he held the receipt. He's going to love your laptop. It's an office bag with a laptop. We're going to open it when we get home, okay? Hold your receipt, baby. So cute. Oh my God, look at this. So he wanted mummy's laptop. And I told him we would that? find him a baby laptop. What is and we found this little, it's wood, but it's so cute. That was your bright strap when you were little. Because <laughs> you tried to get out of the car all the time. This, so this little pack from Kmart comes with a wood laptop in a laptop bag. We've got to show them. This comes with, oh, nigga, 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 ning. Okay, we'll just ride on that, yep. Yeah. Oh, God. That's Hello. Hello. I'm Zach and what is your name? My name's Jerusha. Are you going to help me in the office? Yeah. Should I put your name on your on your label, on your lanyard? Oh, what? okay. Okay, so this is Zachy's office. This is his laptop bag. He named it him Tennis. What's it called? Laptop bag. Zachy Boss Laptop. And then this is his folder. You write Zachy Boss on your laptop, yes. on your folder. Okay, you want it here, like that? And draw it 
right here. Where? Show me where you want it. No, Draw that's it your strap. Down there. Here. Do you want it written here? Yeah. Okay. I can do it by myself. Oh, no, no, that's a permanent marker. That's a permanent marker. Okay, you try. Zed? Zed? Oh. God, it's so cute. Now, the baby boss is watching baby boss. Okay, I'm trying to get out of here to upload last week's vlog. I didn't end up telling you guys the, um, the issues with this. The issues with this laptop is that it was opening and getting the screen of death, so the lines on black. And at first I was like, oh my god, it's the hard drive, da 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 da. And like a hard restart wasn't working. I was like, oh my god, I've lost everything, da da la. That's happened to me before. Life of anyone that has tech products and works you know, in tech and on laptops permanently. But, here, wait for another one. I told Will that it was just the screen of my laptop and that it wasn't the hard drive. I told him that he was adamant that it was my hard drive. <laughs> right? Yes, darling. Isn't that what you were saying? Exactly what I was saying. That you were right and I was wrong. <laughs> and when you are the Dalai Lama's apprentice, <laughs> they send you tests in life. Will said, it is definitely the screen, it's the screen, it's the screen. I'm like, I think it's the hard drive, like melodramatic central. Oh yes, he is hanging out in the washing, by the way, guys. I don't want to break it now. <laughs> We have our nails on. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have a poo towel? Why a poo towel? Oh, I'm sorry. All those towels were from when you flooded the bathroom. Oh, let me tell you that story later. Anywho, we have the camera, uh, the laptop back, and it was my screen. So they that's replaced an it. So that's great. Any um, subbies, that's an expert at doing laundry that does it really well. Can you please send her <laughs> some tips? <laughs> yeah, so many tips. Please send her some tips on I how to do the laundry properly. Because... He's sick of me shrinking stuff and then piles upon piles of clean clothes. However, it's not put away. And then the next two loads pile up on no, each just other. Just shrinking and destroying <laughs> such an I believe that I've been gaining weight all this time. <laughs> But really? <laughs> so I've had to take, I had to go to the shop and get a, what do they call it? They call, um, oh, what do they call it? Science? A constant, like a... A, a scale? A like... <laughs> no, you, ha you have like something to measure against. It's the word for that. Something to measure against? So you have something that's not changing, that's constant, and then you... That's why when you were doing that with hands, I said scale. No. They call it something in science, that we used to. Okie dokie. We're going to go get some breakfast, is all I want to tell you. We are in my favourite shop of all time, <laughs> next to Pottery Barn, Provincial is my favourite. Does this look a lot like my house? <laughs> Obviously my house is Provincial, I want that so badly, that tea grey chest, see? Welcome to my life, <laughs> welcome to my existence, I want like every colour. So cute actually, they do the blue and the green and they do the rose. Isn't that so cute? Look at this office. Look at this. 
I just said to Will, oh my god, just let your eye run through that. And he was like, wow. He already has a desk like this that he, I think he picked it off by swap cell, which is a site here in Australia. You just can put up your furniture and stuff. I want that Da Vinci for the house. The horse, Da Vinci's horse. I am for this coffee. <laughs> this is the Black H Deco mug. I saw my Hermes haul. I picked the Hermes H Deco set back up and I did an unboxing on that vlog of these because I wanted a coffee straight away. Oh my god, so happy. Heaven. Heaven. Oh my gosh. That is, this makes the best coffee size. If you like like a three quarter latte, three quarter full latte, like not so much milk or, you know, like a little bit stronger than a large latte or that type of thing. This just makes the best size coffee. You have no idea. I'm so happy. I'm going to take care of them. Okay. I promise. Once you start being rough with them and you sink, it's like any, you know, China item or whatever. But the second you crack a handle down here, it's kind of over. I wanted to ask you guys what you thought. Um, I wanted to ask you guys what you thought. I probably shouldn't leave it there. It's not on here right now. We're on my phone. My Sony's downstairs. I just didn't go and get it. <laughs> We're on my phone and it's not on here, but... My Prada phone case, my uh, triangular logo Prada phone case, which is in Safiano leather, and it's been amazing. It's got the like silicone around the sides and then it's Safiano on the back with the gold triangular plaque. It's been amazing. I love it. It's got all of the silicone buttons, which I like. I don't like putting my finger in to turn volumes up and stuff like that and to lock the phone, the iPhone. Um, but around the triangular logo, the glazing is melting. And it's so gummy and gross. And it's nothing to do with heat, like the heat from the phone. There is no way the heat from the phone is going through that phone case at all. Like there is the phone case and the layer. It's got plastic. It's got Prada. There's no way. I've never, ever had a phone case melt from the heat of a phone. And plus, these phones don't heat up. Do I leave it in the sun? No. So... I'm thinking I will call Prada um, after sales today. Ask them because I've got to a stage in my life where I'm just like, no, you know what? I am going to complain. I'm really complacent. I just go, don't worry about it. Like, just live it out. But I am going to actually bring this up to them for sure. So I'm going to call them today. I'll show you and see what you think. Give me your honest opinion is it's not good i don't think it's good at all okay let's get this nice and close so you can sort of see what i am talking about so here this is all saffiano there is the silicone uh cover which is beautiful but let's see if you can see this let's see if i can zoom in hang on Without it pixelating too much. No, I don't think you'll. Can you see that, that? See how gummy that is? You can kind of see it. See, it's all like a gummy kind of. See, all there on the side is all like gummy and disgusting. It's And it's folded there on the edge. 
right on that that right side the edge it's just sticky and I, I just don't know what to do i think i'm gonna call them i'll call them now see what they say okay we are working hard on a sunday we're gonna go to the gym we're gonna do it we're gonna put in the effort i just wanted to show you guys this is the gym bag believe it or not we have gone back to the Zhuzh. This is my first briefcase, if you've ever watched that. My first Louis Vuitton bag, and it was my briefcase that I used in my boutique. It was amazing. Number four GM. And it's now my gym bag. I know, it's the Zhuzh, but trust me, <laughs> I have no other option. It is it holds everything. I need my swimmers and everything for the sauna if I want to use it. And it's just, it's amazing. Her name's Hi. Donna. Hello there, how are you? She has her own channel. Yes. She's in my area actually and she knows Will. She knows Will. She knows Will. <laughs> a truck crashed into the, yes. uh, the old restaurant. Yeah, the old restaurant. The old yeah. restaurant. And Donna <laughs> lived in Harvard. She, she, that's did. how she knows Will. Oh, thank you so much for coming so And I do have a map on my videos oh, as well. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. Yay, Sammy. Check out my channel. I love meeting <laughs> subscribers. It makes it real. Oh, oh, oh it makes it it's real. It's brilliant. Thanks it makes it well. worth it. I'm so happy. <laughs> There's nothing like a fresh salad sandwich. In the sun. After the gym. That's an impressed look. These are beautiful salad wraps, toasted. And we're sitting in the park. Such a pretty day. <laughs> oh, so scared. How'd you get up there? <laughs> no thanks. I got to upload and then I'm going to go to the gym. Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. Oh, psych. Daddy. How'd you get up there, tiny tot? You're so cute. Have you seen my sunnies? That's what we do. That's what we do. Every time. You're welcome. Oh my god. Come through, Mexican. Hello, darling. No. I was like, Mexican time. Ooh, Willie. Yes. Mexicana, let's go. No. Vlog love it when you say hi. Hi. I caught you last vlog cleaning your teeth. Sorry. I caught you last vlog cleaning your teeth in the mirror of my car. Right. <laughs> but then again, you and I were shouting profanities. And my cheese and tomato toasty sandwich. And I have my very nice frog. baby chino large at Patterson's. This is such a cute little um, they make patisserie sport. here in Sydney for Patterson's. I have a little quiche and a latte, of course. Yum! <laughs> I have to get bush breakfast. Let's have a chat to Jill. Oh, I have a lot of bush breakfast. 
Oh, do you? Yeah, I have like two or three. Let's get, get out of the way. <laughs> Let's get out of the way of the door. Let's talk to the vlog. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to tell you something. Who? You. I am going back and getting eyelash extensions. Oh no! <laughs> and and oh. I'm getting hair extensions. No, you're not. <laughs> you are not. Yeah. That will be the end. You can expect a divorce. He'll love it. No, he won't. Trucks. He's, he'll say you even it's look just more so trashier than the more, lips. That, more, yeah, more trashier. More trashier. No Come way. on, little acorn. She's no so little. Way. That's all. Bye. Don't you love mothers? Morning routines just get so much easier. We said put your regular shoes on. You're walking on my wooden floorboards. Wait up. Swap. Oh, take them off properly. him how to shred paper. <laughs> oh my god, this child of machinery. I thought you guys might want to see what it is like in action in this restaurant. Hi Harry! Hi guys. Harry doesn't want to be on the vlog. Oh my god, it does! Hi guys! This is what it is like deep in action in this Italian restaurant. At about 7 p.m. on a Friday. Get your own show, buddy. This is how full on it is. is the kiddies favorite part da, 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 da. hi guys no it's fine no it's fine you go i'm just i'm a vlogger oh, sorry. Here. this is my restaurant <laughs> Do you have a YouTube channel or something? Yeah. Like yeah. Okay. So we're just showing everybody eating. Isn't our gelato the best? Yes. Yeah. Because it's so good. Rainbow and Snickers are like the best. Oh, have you got Justin? Yes. Come here a lot. Your dad, dad, dad. Lucy wants to show you her fish tank. She's so proud of it. Give them a tour. Willie yeah. bought her some little guppies today. They Look haven't the they haven't had um, lights. They haven't had blue light for probably a couple of months now. <laughs> which is not good because they love it, especially being here in the restaurant. But aren't they beautiful? Lucky's has always had a fish tank. Always. Did you know that? Ever since it was Andrews, they had Tony's and Vince's had a fish tank. 
so it just kept the thing going. Uh, down here at one of the ovals. Uh, what oval is this? DY. Oh, 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 ow! <laughs> like, just goes, don't hurt yourself. That really hurt. Heads! <laughs> Will's just, <laughs> sorry, Will's just killing spectators. I think I told you last vlog that, um, yeah, I showed you um, George's soccer team. That's right. Yeah, I showed you on the vlog. And we interviewed his, his, um, his uh, coach. Um, yeah, we came down here to watch and support their game. I think they're on halftime. Halftime huddle. So naturally, while it's halftime, boys will be boys. So Hike and Will are <laughs> kicking the ball around. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got, uh, got another half to go, yeah. so uh, I'm we'll here to support, I'm here to support, go, go, focus. Aldo. <laughs> oh sorry, hey Messi, how's it going? <laughs> Old men aren't supposed to play soccer. Uh, Dads aren't meant to play soccer. Over 35. <laughs> <laughs> Retirees leave. Like you guys just jump on the pitch when they're really uh, puffed out. The race here, no, Jasmine has the kids. They're going on the they're ferry on the, to Luna a Park. Beautiful. Yeah. This guy made me run. They're on what the ferry name? to Luna Park for um, Harper's birthday. All right. Hikes on the vlog. Look ah. at the soccer boys in the over 50s team. <laughs> <laughs> that's you. That's your husband, not me. I'm over 35. Not you. <laughs> that's right. With the 20 year old girlfriend. She's so hot. You saw Alina on the vlog last night. She's 23. Oh, 23. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that much of a crater yeah. snatcher. <laughs> Get everything. You may use my sleep. I need to prove that I'm a good wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's all for show. Don't believe anything you see here. No. Don't. Let's get Rob on the vlog. Can we take your shirt off? Bye. <laughs> it's just jokes. It's just jokes, husband. Just jokes. Oh. Oh. It's serious. It's serious up in here, guys. Mal Messi. Ronaldo on the pitch. <laughs> Which one is it? Oh. I think uh, it's short enough to be Messi. It's definitely Ronaldo. What does that mean? Out. What does this mean? Oh, so serious. Oh, foul. What the hell? He just... 11? 11 just... No, that's a, that's a now. Shoulder to shoulder. She just smashed him from the back. It was a bit of a push. Go, Georgie! Good, Georgie. Look at that wall. Impressive. Impressive. Oh! Oh! You gotta do these ones. You gotta go. Hi, boys! Hi, boys! Hey, how are you going? Look who's showing up to football. Here. I'd come and get Rob on the vlog. George just goes, are you actually at my soccer match? I'm George like, said that? Yeah, it's like, George is at my soccer match. When does this ever happen? Gotta, I'm gotta like, go. We Star appearance, your, the paparazzi we, followed me to DY. We turned your video into a, a meme <laughs> of um, <laughs> the president. I know! <laughs> And he goes, come and come and sit next to me, dog. <laughs> yeah. No, the highlight of that vlog was how I go, take your shirt off. And you go, you go, and you point to the, the coach as if, like, not in front of the team, Jerusha. Go, Jordi. Relax, Jordi, relax. Oh. Ooh, oofed. How many clubs are there? Hey, it's the boss. 
boss. I go, are you the coach? I go, are you the coach on the vlog? He goes, no, I'm the president of the, of the, president of the what? The boss and I have stopped for some Turkish. <laughs> stopped for some Turkish. Hello, Turkish. We've stopped for some kebabs. And <laughs> I just want everyone to know take care of your bags. Thank you, tissue box. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh look, we can do our vlog now. Fix your hair. Your hair's fine. Oh, okay. It's meant to look like this. We can do our vlog now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we, we were meant to start doing this yesterday, apparently. Yes, go to the mall together. But yesterday turned into a complaint after a nightmare of a day. I guess we said that on yesterday. Well, let's forget yesterday. To the back of the beautiful my short girl. Yeah. Do we call this short? Oh, oh yeah. Short. Too short. No, I like it. So, did, did you do this? You, you okay? Oh. <laughs> Were you going to do colour though? Or no? I've done colour. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> We're we just at the shops because I need some beauty products. So we'll show you. To tell you she thinks she looks beautiful today. Oh, you're not in focus. Oh. <laughs> We're just at Priceline. That's like your CVS. Just browsing drugstore. Nothing better than drugstore makeup. You're just saying. Okay, I just wanted to show you this because I just did this and it's so amazing. And if I can link this, I will because this actual jewelry cleaner, like there's quite, you know, there's quite a few out there on the market, but this connoisseur's is Honestly, the most amazing at-home jewelry cleaner, I think it is. Anyway, and I have obviously quite fine jewelry with precious stones. Sorry, I would have put nails on to do this to not be disgusting and janky, but hey. So it's literally the solution inside like that. And then it's got the little basket. You've seen these before. And it comes with its own little brush. Um, in the compartment there which is really nice and obviously you just load your jewelry into the uh, little basket the cradle like so and then throw it back in the cleaner it says 30 seconds but I just kind of leave it and shake it around <laughs> um, which uh, whatever um, and then I rinse it off in hot water get all of the grime out of the the um, rings and then I uh, put it back in and then rinse then throw it out and rinse it off again if that makes sense um, can you see what I'm doing sir <laughs> I'm vlogging can you just give me one second please put it back mommy Okay, so this came with one of my Van Cleef pieces, um, and when yeah. I sold it, I did I didn't know what it was from, and to be honest, I thought they were coasters. <laughs> I didn't even look in this booklet because you know it, they Cartier and Van Cleef come with so many sort of little bits here and there, but it's a booklet. You just open it up. It's got care instructions and. Look at this fiber cloth. I mean, it's practically a blanket. Look at it. It is so humongous. Let's get an all round look at it. It's got the Van Cleef. It's got the Van Cleef in the bottom there, embossed, and it's just humongous. It's the same both sides, so it's not as if it's a polish one side or whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and polish these up and show you. Oh my god, it's so janky and I don't want to do this in my nail. So I don't want to show you, but... How's that turning out? Pretty! Jesus. Is, the Cartier ones are so good too, but this thing is like a blanket. And it's really thick. Really, really thick. Okay. Let's 
Popperon. Yes, sister. Wow, the queen. Ooh, yes, girl. Nice and clean. Now let's give the slumberjean a bit of a clean. This was such an achievement, this ring, honestly. And it was off fashionfile.com. And it was pre-loved, but I swear to God it looked new. I have really banged it up, but it's a wedding band, so that tends to happen, right? Let's have a look at this guy. Nice. It's super intricate, so I feel like it takes a little while. However, I do have to get it a bit repaired. There's a plate on the inside that um, has got a little chip in it, and I want to repair it and I want to get a proper clean. So I called Tiffany and they were like, yeah, bring it in. It's beautiful, you need to take care of it. So they do an after sales, whatever, like whether you purchase with them or not, they do after sales. But this, honestly, if you're looking for fine jewelry cleaner to do at home, trust me, I will link it below. Okay, so that worked out perfectly. Ta-da! I have to show you because of my disgusting nail. It really is amazing cleaner. Like, I stand by it. <clears throat> Truthfully, so does mum. She loves it. She put me onto it, actually, when she cleans her canturi ring, which is just like baguette on baguette. It's really, really tiny and fine, finite type diamonds that you have to just get into, and that's what that's great for. I'm enjoying a cup of tea while the boys play before bath time. Uh, and yeah I did want to ask you guys I'm in between situations with labels at the moment like meaning design wise like luxury brand obsession type thing I'm going through this thing of looking at Dior non-stop However, it is how I said, yeah, the last one, got, was it last week? Jesus, they're rolling into each other. I said the other week that, I'm going to be honest, the resale's not good on Dior and the price is so high to begin with. So what I was saying in that vlog is when you're looking at the buy price at Chanel and then the resale, it's insane. And obviously at Hermes, it's insane because they're so hard to come by. Dior, I don't know why it doesn't hold its value or if not go up in price as a resale. It, I don't know why because obviously it's absolutely stunning brand, absolutely stunning house, everything, you know, that's designed is so classic and so beautiful. However, I can't stop looking at it and in particular the Lady Dior. I did in fact check out a couple of videos last night on the Lady Dijoy, Dijoy, I think that's how you say it, the long east-west one. It's just really beautiful. I came across one in the micro, which is ridiculous. It is, it is ridiculously small. Like, I mean, I have small bags, but functionality-wise, it's just, it's really hard to get into. And the micro Lady Dior is tiny. It's like 10... 10 by 12 it doesn't hold a phone it's smaller than that i mean why i can already hear mum saying uh what <laughs> why do you keep buying tiny bags and you're not tiny not to judge if you are a tall curvy girl like me you do you you want to own a micro lady dior you own it girl i'm going to end this vlog here and enjoy my cup of tea i think it was long uh, a lot has been happening. A lot has been happening the last couple of weeks. So I do hope you're enjoying these. I will see you on my next vlog, guys. Take care. Peace.